hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of x if we have x plus 1 times of x plus 2 times of x plus 3 times of x plus 4 is equals to 120 and we solve this problem for the values of x so the very first step we are going to do is here first we need to uh, rearrange the factors and it will be written as x plus 1 times of uh, uh, x plus 4 into x plus 2 times of x plus 3 and this whole equation equals to 120 and now in the next step uh, we need to multiply these two pairs and these two pairs as well uh, so uh, here we multiply first we uh, fix this x and we multiply on both of these values it will be written as x square plus 4x and now we multiply 1 on both of these values it will be written as x plus 4 and now in the same pattern we multiply these two factors and it will be written as x square plus 3x plus 2x plus this is 2 times of 3 becomes 6 and this whole equation equals to 120 and now uh, further in the next step we need to add or subtract the like terms and we have this is 4x plus x is equals to 5x plus 4 into here we have this is x square plus 3x plus 2x is equals to 5x and plus 6 is equals to 120. Now we rewrite these two factors as x square plus x 5x plus 4 into we break this value as x square plus 5x we write 6 as 4 plus 2 and it is equals to 120 and now here uh, in the next step we will uh, take here uh, y is equals to x square plus 5x plus 4 uh, because uh, this value be the common term which is lies on both of these factors so that's why we will take it common is equals to y now when we substitute this value to the above factors it will be written as y times of here you have y plus 2 is equals to 120 and now we multiply this y on both of these terms and it will be written as y square plus 2y and we move this 120 in the left hand side and it will become minus 120 and this whole equation is equals to 0. So here in the next step we easily make the factors of this uh, equation. Uh, here uh, in order to make the factors we need to break its middle term so when we break its middle term so this is uh, 2y we write it as 12y minus 10y we write this 2y as 12y minus 10y and this is minus 120 is equals to 0 and now in the next step we need to take common y from first two terms and we get here y times of y plus 12 and here we take common minus 10 and we get y plus 12 is equals to 0 and now from both of these uh, equations uh, we will take common y plus 12 uh, and we get the remaining value is y minus 10 is equals to 0 and now here we uh, uh, we will just break uh, this equation into the two cases the first case is we write y plus 12 equals to 0 and the second case is we write y minus 10 is equals to 0 so from this case we easily get the value of y is equals to minus 12 and from this case we get the value of y is equals to 12 and now we move backward and we back substitute the value of y so this is the value of y we need to put this value of y uh, on both of these equations so when we put this value of y here it will be written as x square plus 5x plus 4 is equals to minus 12 and from here we have x square plus 5x plus 4 is equals to 10 and now we call uh, this is our equation number 1 and this is our equation number 2 uh, and now here we first solve our equation number 1 so that from equation number 1 we have now here we move this minus 12 in the left hand side and it will be written as x square plus 5x plus 4 plus 12 equals to 0 
here we add the like terms we have x square uh, and plus 5x plus 4 plus 12 is equals to 16 and this whole equation is equals to 0. So uh, this here we get uh, the quadratic equation in x variable so uh, here uh, it is not possible to make the factors of this equation so that we will apply here the quadratic formula so in order to apply the quadratic formula first we need to write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1 b equals to 5 and c is equals to 16 and we state the quadratic formula as x is equals to minus b plus minus square root of uh, b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a so this is the our quadratic formula and, and now we uh, substitute uh, the values of a b and c here so after substituting uh, these values it will be written as uh, we have our x is equals to this is minus b when we put the value of b here it will become minus 5 plus minus square root of b square b is 5 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 16 and it is divided by 2 times of a so here our a is equals to 1 and now in the next step we have x is equals to minus 5 plus minus square root of 5 square so 5 square is 25 minus 4 times of 16 is equals to 64 and it is divided by 2 times of 1 is equals to 2 so here uh, we easily get the other roots are in this form this will becomes here uh, minus 5 plus minus square root of 25 minus 64 is equals to minus 39 and it is divided by 2. So here further in the next step uh, you know that when a negative sign appears inside the square root it will becomes iota so we will get here minus 5 plus minus square root of 39 into iota and it is divided by 2 so this is the uh, first two values of x but these values are complex values and now here in order to find the other values we need to focus in equation number two so that from uh, equation number two we have now we copy down equation number two here it is x square plus 5x plus 4 is equals to 10 and now here first we move this 10 in the left hand side and it will becomes x square plus 5x plus 4 minus 10 is equals to 0 uh, and we obtain here x square plus 5x minus 4 minus 10 equals to minus 6 and this whole equation equals to 0. So here we easily make the factors of this equation and, and now we can break the middle term. Uh, so we write this uh, 5x as uh, 6x minus x and this is minus 6 is equals to 0. And now here we take common x from the first two terms and we get here x plus x times of x plus 6 and here we take common minus 1 and we get x plus 6 is equals to 0. And now from both of these uh, equations uh, we get x plus 6 with a common term and we get the remaining values are x minus 1 is equals to 0. And here we break uh, this equation into the two cases. The first case is we write x plus 6 equals to 0 and the x minus 1 is equals to 0 so here from first case we easily get the value of x is equals to minus 6 this is the third root of the given equation and from here we get the value of x is equals to plus 1 this is the fourth root of the given equation this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos